Tommy, we end 2021-22 with a defeat. What's your take on the game? I'm um, obviously disappointed with the result. Um, but the first half, I thought we played a bit more, probably the most we have all season free-flowing football. Uh, in the first two minutes, we've obviously played the, some of the nicest football I've seen us play all season, created a chance. And um, at, unfortunately, I've put it to Mo at the back post and it's just gone past him. Um, and then we've created another chance. I've squared it to Mo again and on another day, you know, I'd bank him to take that all day. So... First half, we're pleased. Um, second half, obviously, to go out at home on a loss is, is always disappointing. Story of our season, really. And, you know, we've we've played well, had the chances, but maybe haven't taken them as well as we have liked up to uh, to up today. Yeah, that's it. Um, we've created a lot of chances, um, not necessarily taken them all, and that's why Jalen's goal was was obviously a bit of um, individual brilliance, uh, which he has. But yeah, second half, we've we've pushed and pushed, but not really had the final end product. Yeah, because obviously we, you know, we've got the equaliser and we're looking to try and push on and we've gone into the break at half-time. What was the message going into the break? More of the same, really. Um, maybe a little bit um, to be more cautious when we're attacking because everyone was going, uh, just to lock it out a little bit because we got counted a few times. But ultimately more of the same because we did... Uh, it felt like we was dominating. It felt like we were creating more chances than they was. Um, and then in the second half... They've almost counter-attacked us and, and put the game to bed. Yeah, like you say, the result wasn't what we wanted today, but a bumper crowd today, almost 2,500 fans here in total, a great turnout from them. Oh, yeah, I've said every time I've been in front of this camera, the fans are amazing. Uh, they're good good to me in my first season. They've taken to me really well, um, and today their, their support showed through, and hopefully we start next season with, with that amount that was in here today uh, to really push us on and have a good season. See, this interview took a bit of a while, didn't it, with all the fines and everything coming in yeah. today? But it's great, isn't it, just have them here and just celebrate you being here in the first season. Oh, yeah, you know, I'll get messages a lot. Um, if I had 25 shirts to give, I'd give one to every single kid that, that, that wanted one. Um, unfortunately, I can't do that. But, you know, the support from everyone has been good. The kids have obviously taken, taken to me. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm thankful for everyone's support this season to me and hopefully it continues next year. Just a final thing now, obviously a bit of a break until the new season, summer break, things like that. How are you going to be preparing for the new season? Um, so we, we've had, got two weeks off after today, so I'll just be relaxing. I'll probably go to the gym and then our um, off-season programme starts, um, getting ourselves ready and then I'll, be, I'll have a little holiday, um, uh, enjoy myself, have a, have a nice chilled one as well and then I'll come back and, and do what I need to do to make sure I'm spot on for when I come back for pre-season. How do you reflect on your first season in the National League? Um, a lot of people have said, you know, it's, it's been a good season for me, but with the standards I have for myself, I'm slightly disappointed with the goals and the assists, but then you can't always look at that. There's been moments in the game where I've taken on a lot of players and created chances, so there's that to look at as well. But please, but again, I, I know I can, I can do better and hopefully next year I will. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.